Native American themed event coming to a contest near you and Chilf is our Kabam original champion who should be supported by Kashala if I'm saying that right and if we kind of like know this to follow the same scheme. Hello everybody. Uh, I'm a bit delayed with kind of covering this stuff and the reason being is I was interviewing Gabriel Fazera about, uh, if you know Gabe used to be the creative director at Kabam covering Marvel Contest Champions and we've got some really special kind of like secret champions, NPC champions, uh, secrets from Kabam. It's going to be a really good um, like uh, episode of that uh, that's going to come out soon. And of course, looking at his new game. But uh, of course, in this episode, this 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 coverage right here, is, we're going to talk about New York Comic Con a little bit. I haven't watched the full part of it. I'm actually part way through, uh, but I wanted to cover this new champion coming to game. We'll have a mop up session of like information. If there is anything about from New York Comic Con, we'll go over it. But I wanted to cover, you know, the uh, the new um, the new champion, which uh, is going to be right on screen uh, now. If we can get this working there we go there you go i click the button so this is uh this is chilf um chilf i can remember that say chilf not not chilf chilf um look i'm excited about this a uh, little bit of uh what is it called um just native american themed month i think it's 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 cool like i think a lot of us would like to see it and props to kabam they went out to like get people from the community, the Native American community, to have their input, their say. And I hope they continue to do that. Like, you know, if they do a champion that's uh, Indian, go and speak so, some to some Indian people to get an idea. Same same thing I think they've done in the past with South, South, South American-based um, uh, characters and champions. You know, Japanese. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. I think that's fantastic that Kaban went out and said, look, we are building a champion. We want to make it as authentic as possible. Guide us. Look, we got footage right here about uh, for this champion. And this is very much in keeping with uh, the spirit and spiritualization of uh, Native Americans. And that is amazing. And I think this is very much in the artwork. Beautiful artwork, by the way, uh, for the character. Uh, very strong. It's got very much kind of like um, some slight Samoan notes to it. And in that, I can just see this strong, uh, you know, uh, power of the like, tomahawk. Like all the elements that makes kind of like a character cool, but also unique to Native Americans. Like it's just, it just looks amazing. And, you know, as a lot of people say, Art team don't miss when it comes to creation. Everything is being kind of like taken into consideration with it. Well, now we're talking about the spirits, the spirits that guide this particular character, Chilth. Um, the backstory, I think this is because this is a good like Kabam original champion. They've got a, a good rich story behind it in that there's a situation with a nuclear power plant, radiation, whatever it is, uh, toxic, whatever it is. And, and that creates the likes of... Um, uh, immortal uh, Hulk, immortal abomination. Uh, Sasquatch is there for some reason. Red Hulk's there as well, and that looks like standard abom abomination. Whatever. Um, but the um, the spirits, and again, you know, the Native Americans, and as we said, spiritualism is a big part of that. And well, a lot of cultures as well. You know, there's there's a lot of spiritualism when it comes to uh, uh, to India um, to um, to, to various countries. I'm not singling out that, but what I'm saying is that it's something that you kind of learn a lot about when it comes to spiritualization. And and the great thing about this is that the, the spirits choose uh, Chilth based on her strength or kind of willingness, determination, the uh, the bear and the eagle and what those represent uh, for the the character. So this has been this has been really good to align the um the meaning behind the character, the art style behind the character, and showing that element of uh, of passion. So, I'd love to see more of this from Kabam. I know they're doing this for New York Comic Con. I know they're looking to kind of like do it like this, but like this is when champions become cool, and where you've got the passion behind the build, the meaning behind the character. But um, a lot of the time, when you're thrusting out two champions a month. It takes away from that uniqueness, that um, you know, beauty and passion around it 
uh, not saying there's not there's not not passion, but what I'm saying is like this is why this is cool because Kebab have gone look. This is why we created the character. This is the backstory. This is this, and it's just this is this is what I like or used to like about Kebab and uh, and stuff. And from speaking to Gabe when we talk about motion comics, I think one of the the people said they were going to do a motion comic this month, and that's good. I'm glad they're doing a motion comic, but it's just I miss that element of knowing a bit more about the champion, the motivation for the month, and stuff like that. Um, oh, uh, iconography is of course an incredible element to um, to culture. Uh, you look at um, the Mohicans. You look at uh, I think it's quite apt as well. Like you know the um, uh, what's the gentleman called. Justin has got a mohawk um, at this moment in time. I think that's that's quite apt um, and very cool um, for it. But yeah, it's like, you know, if you watch the, the thing is, go and watch The Last of Mohicans, you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to spiritualization and kind of a, um, yeah, just, I, um, I can't remember what I was saying. I was, I was thinking of some other descriptive thing uh, with it. But going back to this, um, because they did skirt over it, uh, the Kashala. Kashala is at shot right there. Um, this may be the second champion coming in this um, particular update, which would be amazing because it's like a Native American theme month. This is what I was talking about. It could be a Native American uh, themed uh, month. Kashala was a character that was teased for the well, not teased. He was one of the he she was one of the options for uh, the uh, what was it called? Summoner's Summoner's Choice. But it's going to be incredibly cool to see this. This is what and where the power of this kind of like Ghost Rider thing is probably going to be a thing. So that kind of gives you an idea. that I thought it would be a new Ghost Rider. I thought it would be Robbie Reyes, to be honest. Because I thought it's just been a long time since we've seen a... Not saying Cosmic Ghost Rider has not been a true Ghost Rider. But what I'm talking about is like, I'd like to... I would love to have seen Robbie Reyes, to be honest. But this is where they're going to likely go with it. But uh, there you go. You learn something new every day when it comes to... Where Kabam are going in their uh, their direction of uh, of stuff. Also, uh, and probably just finally, the champions that they're talking about in in this something about. I need to play it actually. Just remember about the spirits. Combat brother spirit. Okay. Okay. So sister, they're saying sister eagle. I don't know if you heard that. Sister eagle is the healer. Drawing out sicknesses and curses. So this may be the way that they have like immunities or um, a deal with immunities, deal with purification. I think it may be a purifying type element. And maybe there's different modes. Like I'm not saying it is or isn't, but it's like it looks like the way Kabam are tipping it is that it's a um, mode. Like if you're in the the brother the brother mode, the bear, the bear mode. Um, uh, brother bear whatever it is then you you might deal more damage to for your oh God, I pressed the wrong button there um oh god damn it hey when i press the wrong button for things and i get oh and then go off the wrong wrong hate sometimes clicking and you're just like i click the wrong thing there but yeah sorry the point i was getting to before i was rudely interrupted is that one champ once once shift into one mode is different mode. That, that's basically it. These different modes mean different things. Could be like you're in the or you switch. Like I'll do an SP three, it puts me into Sister Eagle, and then I'm able to regen or purify. Or it's a case I, I do an SP two and I'm Brother Bear and I'm doing more damage and stuff like that. So I, I'm just assuming that that's the um, that's the case of how they operate. I mean, it's vice versa. It's SP two is is the SP3 the bear, SP2 the uh, sister eagle. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I guess this, this is really cool. And I uh, love the artwork. Color scheming's really good. Tattooing's really good. The just nods to, to whatever it is is just amazing. Just, just a great artwork. Um, I'll be interested to see how uh, what Kushala's going to be all about when it comes to to game. This is a Kabam original champion, if you don't know already, or by the way, it's a Kabam original champion, and uh, that will, yeah, be released very, very, um, very, very soon. More information. I, th I don't know if you're going to get a hands-on play of the champion when it comes to the Battle Round Brawl. I don't know, I kind of got that impression from Kabam, but uh, I, d I don't know. Do you 
we'll have to see when the battle round brawl is uh next week my word time flies when you're having fun in mcoc um yeah so yeah i'm i'm really excited to see what they do with this love the idea of doing a native american month it's gonna be exciting november it's my birthday in november so i've got to be excited about that i'll probably live stream on that i'm gonna try and live stream some other stuff um next week get back to live streaming if i can get some time yeah thoughts in the comment section about this and i'll see you later on bye bye everybody oh check out some other content located on the screen see you soon bye bye i'll, I'll look at new comic-con stuff too bye